Hey guys, there's three other concepts that I want you to think about when we're talking about muscle contractions at gross level as well. One of those is muscle tone. Muscle tone is a reflective stimulus that is innate. And this reflective stimulus results in muscles exhibiting slight contractions even when we're at rest. We would find these muscle contractions associated with muscles that are important for posture and are also important to stabilize joints. Now, it's very important also to realize that a muscle cell to stay alive must be electrically stimulated at all times. So even at rest, the most innate little muscle is, will be occasionally electrically shocked rhythmically just to ensure that we keep it healthy. A good example of this is somebody that is quadriplegic, such as Christopher Reeves, uh, the gentleman, the actor that played Superman. Uh, he uh, was a very athletic individual who went riding one day, fell off his horse, broke his neck, and became quadriplegic. Was told that he never would have the sensation of touch again. And he allowed his body to become an experimental organism in which they placed an electrical body suit on him that had electrical probes that would stimulate muscles in his arms and his legs with the intent to keep them he healthy. Uh, to keep them so that he can maintain a little bit of posture, but more importantly, to keep them alive so that they did not die and become scar tissue. Because what happens with muscles is their atrophy. And when they atrophy that scar tissue, and it prevents nerves from growing through them. But, so by keeping itself electrically stimulated externally, it allowed his muscles to stay alive enough to give time for the nerves to grow back in. And before he died, he was able to feel sensations in the tips of his fingers. The other thing that I would like to cover is the type of contractions. There's two types of contractions associated with gross skeletal muscle contractions. One of those is isotonic, and one of those is isometric. Now, isotonic contractions produce a uniform tension in a muscle once a load has been overcome and result in the movement occurring at the joint and a change in length. Now this would be what you would think of if you were doing a curl or something with your arms. Two types of isotonic contractions that can occur though. The concentric isotonic contractions result in generating forces that will shorten the muscle. Whereas if you're looking at eccentric, eccentric types of muscle contractions will result in lengthening the muscle as you do that contraction. Now that would be a squat, for instance, when you're coming back up. So if you were trying to do a squat with muscle with weights on your shoulders and, and squatting down, for instance, as you go down, uh, some muscles will shorten while other muscles will lengthen. Those that shorten are concentric. Those that lengthen are eccentric. The other type of muscle contraction you can have is isometric. Isometric results in increase in the muscle tension, but there is no lengthening or shortening of the muscle that results. In that case, if you're pushing against a immovable wall, for instance, you're still creating a force. It's just that the muscles are not contracting. You're just standing out straight and pushing. Have a good day, guys.